It's Gian alum at Convincing Crypto, where we keep you in the loop on all the latest trends and news on crypto and blockchain technology. Today, I have a real quick update from the Colorado community. Some major progress is on its way. As always, this video is not an endorsement of any project on Cardano in any way. Please do your own research before investing in anything. All right, let's dive into the news today. Here's the article, Cardano One Step Closer to Welcoming Plutus V3 Following Launch on Testnet. Input Output Global, the research and development arm of the Cardano blockchain, just announced significant progress with Plutus V3. That's with its launch on SanjoNet, and a significant step forward with Cardano smart contracts. This upgrade emphasizes performance, smart contract size, and throughput. It could help lower costs and also attract new developers. They also have new cryptographic primitives. This enables developers to follow industry standards, transfer smart contracts from Ethereum, and also build bridges and side chains. Moreover, Plutus v3 uses the sums of products approach. This is a new method of encoding data types. It results in smaller scripts that are much cheaper. The goal is optimization and efficiency. This could speed up programs by 30%. According to Cardano founder, Charles Hoskinson, Plutus V3 is a massive upgrade coming with a chain hard fork that brings so much to the table for Cardano dApps and blockchain interoperability. We're gonna say dApps, it's gonna catch on. dApps are decentralized applications. So with this new upgrade, Cardano is going to be more efficient. We're going to get more developers coming to Cardano. And I think it'll be a better user experience for everyone. Let me know what you think, though, in the comments below. Are you excited for Plutus V3? Or do you have any concerns? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, if you see any crypto scams in the comments or in the ads, please report them. There's so many fake airdrops, fake giveaways, and people pretending to be financial advisors. And we've got to make sure everybody in the crypto community remains safe. That's it for us today. Feel free to like, subscribe, comment your thoughts. Feel free to share this with your friends if you enjoy this content. And I'll see you next time, everyone. Bye.